This is a Espresso Machine Wiring 101 for the for the home machine, 110 volt. Uh, we, uh, uh, let, let's say you're having a problem with your machine, you're, you're confused, you're frustrated, it's happened to us, uh, you uh, uh, need some guidance, well, let's just start and go over the basics on the machine. You start out with your plug, with your wall receptacle, okay? You'll notice that this is a polarized receptacle and the, there's one slot that is bigger than the other slot. That big slot corresponds to the neutral side of the plug. The small slot corresponds to the hot side of the plug. Now, how do you know which is neutral, which is not? The black wire by American Code attaches to the brass side of the receptacle. The white wire attaches to the silver screw side of the receptacle. The mnemonic is black is brass, white is bright. That's the way your plug should be wired if it's wired properly. If it's not wired that way, this is where you, your, your problems could be starting. So you may need to, if you can't solve a problem, pull the plate off, take a look at it, make sure black is brass, white is bright. That's where we start. The polarity is, is a safety factor that with a large spade on a plug, it will make contact with the neutral side first when you plug in the appliance. This is, oftentimes if it doesn't, that's when you see a spark or you actually get shocked. So, this is the European plug. Olympia Cremina plug, they look just the same. Actually, one is slightly larger, well, slightly longer than the other. It's like a two-tenths of a millimeter longer than the other. Not really enough to see or feel but it does the same function. It makes contact first when you plug it in. To identify this, you, you, you start your wiring from your wall back into your machine. You take the long slot. That's the neutral. Make sure it is the neutral. Using your multi-tester, you can very easily follow. You put your tester, checking for continuity on ohms, you put your tester on what you have determined to be the neutral side. There's the long slot. That should be the neutral side. You can test this to verify it by using your multi-tester and checking. Is, there's a junction box down in the chassis here which is very easy to to verify. And once you take off the top, which so let's just verify to make sure that that's the case. Yes, we have continuity. Now, we have to follow from this junction up to this switch. Now, I have already pretty much uh, determined, because I've been working on this machine, I've determined that the, the, the neutral wire is this wire here. The hot wire is this wire here. <clears throat> I've marked it with a little black dot so I can keep track of it. Now, this switch, and most espresso machine switches for the 110 home machines, use a double pole, double throw switch. Now the double pole means there's two sides to the switch, and double throw means that when you, you turn the switch on, both of these sides are electrified at the same time. There's no continuity from one side to the other, only from the first row to the second row. And so that's the double pole, double throw switch. And the way the machine is wired, and on a Cremina, they use a lot of different colors, and so you can't really go by the color. They do keep their circuits uh, uh, generally in the same color. Uh, if the machine's been rewired, uh, there's, there's really no reason to expect that, you're, that the color wires are going to help you at all. But what we want to do is just think about this conceptually. We've got the, the hot wire on this side of the switch. It would be in this way that this is the hot circuit. We've got our hot wire here and when we switch it on current jumps over to the top. We've got our neutral wire here. This is the neutral side of the switch. This is the hot side of the switch. Now we also have what I like to think of our hot circuit and our neutral circuit is that let's follow the hot circuit. 
we've determined that this wire, the black dot on the inside, we've determined this one to be the hot wire. So it comes in when the switch is on. We go to the blue wire. In this case, the blue wire goes to the pressure stat as the first step in the in the journeys of the current. We have the blue wire coming in here to the pressure stat, a black wire leaving the pressure stat. Now, it doesn't really matter whether you have the 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 hot wire on the front or the back, the switch doesn't know the difference in this case, it's just a simple on-off switch, open or closed. So the blue comes in, the black goes down, to the next junction is the uh, high temp uh, uh, relay, uh, high temp uh, settable switch, the safety switch. We see our black comes in here and the current passes through and exits here. Now it's a red wire. The red wire is hooked to the heating element terminal here and this other side of the red wire goes to the pilot light. Now you've, you're, you've done your work in here using the electricity to make heat in the element through resistance. We come here, we're up to the green wire. In this code, they're not always the same, keep in mind, the green wire travels up to the, the uh, cold side, the common side of the switch, or the neutral side of the switch, then on to the uh, uh, pilot light. Here's the red wire that came from the element, thus completing the circuit through the light, and to the common wire here, back down the cord. So you have a complete circuit that goes through the switch, through the pressure stat, through the, the, the safety switch on the bottom, through the element, back up to the pilot light, and back to the switch. That's the way the circuit is set up. They're all pretty much set up in just the same way. Uh, there are certain other uh, little uh, problems that, that, that can come up. We've covered them in other videos. Uh, connectors, uh, we've recently, this particular one had a shorted element, uh, which was uh, uh, a bit confusing, but uh, it's, it's easy to diagnose and fairly easy to fix, actually. But that's the electrical on a simple machine, a simple circuit. And, uh, Be sure to disconnect from electricity <coughs> before working on your machine. I am disconnected. And turn off any breakers before you start poking around in your wall. Oh, you mean like we did a couple of days ago? Yeah. There you go. Thank you very much.